covered 1,000 miles in 72 days, but finally the walking has come to an end. Greeted warmly by Prince Harry at Buckingham Palace, the Walk of Britain team could stop and celebrate their achievement. No, it's just strange um, that actually I'm not going to wake up tomorrow and have to walk anywhere. It's really good to be finally finished with this achievement, this accomplishment that we've been working on for the past 72 days. And what an achievement this was. The team began walking 10 weeks ago in Scotland. Since then, they've walked on average 20 miles a day every day to cover a thousand miles across mainland Britain, at times gritting their teeth to get through it. Uh, I think the most difficult part was the beginning because our bodies weren't used to the challenge yet. So um, it's not difficult to walk you know, 15 miles one day, but to do it 2, 3, 10, 20 it kind of takes a toll on your body, so the beginning was definitely the most difficult part for us. Initially, very painful, um, but for, for me, in one word, it's been it's been awesome. It's been it's been you know I've been inspired by us, inspiring others as well. Physically, for the first sort of I don't know, the first three or four weeks were hard on each of us individually, um, and then the next few weeks were a breeze, absolute breeze. And I think as we got closer to London, with more and more of the events taking place, that had a, a sort of a more of an enduring effect on us because we're walking then going to an event and then going to another event um, but it's great to see the support support but it's um yeah it's been time <laughs> hardly surprising it was tiring the team passed through 150 towns villages and cities but they didn't choose the easy route they scaled a total of four summits including ben nevis and snowden members of the public joined them for some of the way so, you know, when you're at the end of a, a 20 mile day and you know you've got to do another three uh, back to back the, in, in the following days, when people do come out of house and they, you know, they're bringing you cookies or, or they're bringing you know, money or, or just, a, a, you know, just clapping you on, um, it does sort of give you that little bit of an extra boost to, to carry on and, and it, you know, that the people are actually rooting for you and things like that. Draycott, my home village, had the best turnout. The largest number of bands there had three and actually the donations they donate my village in the half an hour that we walked through there with over a thousand thousand people donated four and a half thousand pounds in the buckets there were four brits and two americans in the team all veterans wounded in afghanistan three of them suffered traumatic brain injury with this walk they shared a common goal there are many injuries out there which are completely invisible um, and um, it doesn't necessarily mean that the impact on those lives are any different from those with a very much of a um, visual or physical injury. Um, and even if I've only changed one of person's view, um, then that's been a good 10 weeks for me. They also set out to raise money. A quarter of a million pounds is the target. Although the total is still being added up, it looks like they've beaten it. We carry a little red bucket around with us and we weren't originally going to because we don't want to be bucket rattling and things. Uh, and we've made £35,000 £35, in one little bucket. If you've ever wondered how many steps there are in 1,000 miles, it's roughly 5.2 million. But for these veterans, it's the step towards spreading awareness about the wounds of war that means the most. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, London.